purpose of A Touch of Grace is to not only improve the quality of care, but also the experience that uh, the patient, the family members, and the staff at the facilities um, have during that final phase of life or the final journey in life. A Touch of Grace was inspired by my mom's death. Uh, she passed away a few years ago in a nursing home. And at that time, I learned that there were some opportunities to improve the quality of care and the experience that family members had, such as my brother and I. There were definitely some challenges. And I put together A Touch of Grace to help improve that so that others had a different experience and a better quality of care at that very final stage of life. What we realized was that there, uh, the, the clinical support from the nursing staff was great, but that the support people in the facility had no training on how to alter the way they did their jobs as uh, people were approaching dying. And as we looked further out, uh, across the United States, we realized that there were no training programs for support staff. So the training program includes elements of teaching mindfulness about your work and uh, making people in support roles more comfortable with recognizing when someone is moving into active dying and to understand the ways that their own roles may play an important part in the treatment and care of a person. One of the most inspiring things in the Touch of Grace project has been the feedback from the staff at Linden Christian. So one of the maintenance people in the feedback session said to Tanya, well, he said, I, I always try to go in really upbeat and sometimes that's not the right way to enter the room. And so he really appreciated having that visual cue that gave him a better sense of how he might alter his behavior as he enters a room, he still has to empty the trash, it's part of the regulations, but he can do it in a way that doesn't interrupt the whatever's happening with the family or, or if the threshold singers are visiting or some other um, element that's trying to uh, ease that person in their dying. And he can make that as a peaceful a uh, way of con con conducting his job as possible. Uh, the most challenging problem I hope to tackle with A Touch of Grace is um, to let the unlicensed caregivers know that um, it's okay if they have um, emotions and grief and how to process that around death and dying. I think the most inspiring um, event I've had or experience I've had with um, palliative care is when we had a resident who was passing away that had no family. And so um, we sat at her bedside, the staff and I sat at her bedside, and they came in and out, and we reminisced about the resident's life in our facility and in our community. And we um, said our goodbyes, and we sang the songs that she liked to sing, and we made it um, a joyful experience. And there's nothing like holding the hand of a resident as they pass on and accept the hand on the other side. The most inspiring thing that I've seen as a result of Touch of Grace is um, what I'm actually hearing as a result of uh, the pilot that's been done, which is the it's been so well received and accepted. And I think it just demonstrates that people are hungry for this knowledge. And the fact that we're doing this too with unlicensed staff, um, they're learning so much and it's so gratifying to see that. I mean, this is the last um, minute sometimes of a person's death and to be present at that time when someone breathes their last is just is truly an awesome experience, yes. What I realized was they needed tools. They, everybody wanted to do the best they could, but they didn't have the tools. They didn't have the knowledge or understanding of the process. Um, they didn't have the maybe sensitivity to training to understand how to interact with families that are going through such significant grief and loss. Everybody wanted to do the best they could, but they didn't know how. If Touch of Grace didn't happen, the world would go on much as it has been. And the biggest loss in that would be, I think, the, um, the disconnect for the caregivers, the CNAs, the dietary staff, the people in the dining rooms that are feeding the residents and 
the loss that they feel but they don't know how to express, the high turnover rate would continue. Um, life would go on much as it has been. There's just a really missed opportunity to do better and to serve not only the residents but the staff in a whole different way. I'm very much personally invested in A Touch of Grace because this is my mother's legacy. Her name was Grace Tannenbaum and the experience of her passing as difficult as it was, we wanted to make it matter. And by making it matter, it had to make it different for others. So A Touch of Grace is my mother's legacy and it will matter because it will be different for those in the future.